welcome back to Mishmas. I um, just woke up and I thought I would go ahead and start opening these advent calendars mainly because I need this coffee one. <laughs> so let's go ahead and hit this yawn coffee advent calendar. Okay, here we are, day two. And they have the descriptions on the back here. So today we've got Kenya Blue Mountain. Ooh, caramel cherry black currant. Ooh, so it's, I guess it's supposed to be a little fruity. So it was on day one of Mishmas when I realized that <laughs> If I do like a sit down video or something, I'm not going to be opening up the advent calendars during that video. So I think what I decided is I'm just going to open up, um, I'm going to catch up to the day uh, and open up advent calendars. I don't know that this is going to happen often, but anyway, I missed day two. Uh, so we're going to open up two and three this morning. I will definitely be having more coffee. So I'll open up number three uh, in the coffee calendar a little bit later today. But let's go ahead and start with Chantecaille. Okay, here is Shantakai. You know, this tree is so, it's so like Lord of the Rings. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's open this up. And we're gonna do two and three. Zebra down here. Ooh, okay. Number two. Oh, what? My God, this is a full size lip veil. Oh my God, in honey pot, this is one of the best colors ever. Oh, that is awesome. Full size lip veil. Wow, wow, that is incredible. Okay, all right, let's see what's in number three here. This is the one that has the zebra. Don't even, oh my God, no way. An entire luminescent eye shade. Oh, these are incredible. So, so beautiful. Oh, wow. Well, I have a lot of these things, so I will definitely be including all of these in a giveaway. This Chantecaille advent calendar is amazing. Moving on to Jo Malone. Okay, so we've got number three up here, but I guess number two is gonna be down here somewhere. Number two looks like a biggie. Uh, whatever it is smells amazing. Oh, it's a little candle. Oh, pine and eucalyptus. Oh, I'm gonna set this on fire right now. Oh, I love, love, love this scent. Here is number three. Ooh, vetiver and golden vanilla. Ooh, what a combo. Oh, what an awesome combo. Well, you smell both. You smell the vetiver and the vanilla. It's like a sweet vetiver, which I don't think I've ever smelled before. Wow. And vetiver is so um, masculine, so the vanilla like softens it up a little bit. Oh, that's really nice. I don't know if I've ever even seen this one before. Okay, now for Diptyque. Okay, here's number three. Let's swing this open and find number two. Oh, here's number two. Okay. Another little candle. <gasps> Which one is this? <gasps> Ooh, amber, ombre. That's really nice. Ooh, I'm gonna set that on fire as well. And let's put this back. And then let's do number three, which was up here. Ooh, 
an eau de toilette. Tam Dow. This is interesting. I don't think I've ever smelled anything like this. I can't even describe it. Okay, so the top notes are Italian cypress, myrtle, and rose. The middle notes are sandalwood and cedar. And the base notes are Brazilian rosewood, spices, amber, and white musk. I don't feel like I smell much of the top notes at all. I, I smell the middle notes and the base notes a lot. It's very sandalwood, musky, rose. It's very, very woody. I wonder if I actually like apply it to me. It'll smell more like the uh, the top notes. Oh, how interesting. Wow, okay. Opening my eyes with these advent calendars. Oh, all right, what fun. Okay, let's go back to um, my coffee. <laughs> Cheers. Ooh, this has like a little bite. It's um, it's uh, <laughs> it's like if you were to describe it as wine, it like hits really high and then it just fades. It's really um, it's lighter definitely than the Brazilian coffee that I had on day one, and it's more uh, sour. Like the flavor is more sour. It's less like cocoa-y rich. I prefer like the cocoa rich flavor, but this is, this is nice. This is nice. I know I generally like um, like African beans in the spring summertime because they do have that little bit of sourness. They're like a little bit um, lighter and they're really bright. Like as soon as you, you know, take a sip, but then it fades a lot. Like the richer coffees, like the Brazilian coffees, like the flavor just like lingers in your mouth a lot longer. Like this is just, it's lighter, you know, it just kind of like goes through, which is nice. It's really, really nice. It's almost more earthy too. So it is freezing here in the mornings, which I'm not complaining. <laughs> I love it. It's such a nice change from our summers here. Um, but I've been enjoying my scarf here inside. I know it seems a little ridiculous, but oh, it's so cozy. It's so nice. And I just put up my uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale. And you guys are so, so sweet. Like so many of you were like, oh my gosh, like this is so great and bought, bought multiple scarves. So thank you. Thank you so much for your orders. Um, really, really great. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that. But anyway, it's freezing here. So it looks like it's going to be another Lovely day here in Las Vegas. Clear blue skies. So pretty here in the mornings. All right, so what are we doing today? We are putting up the tree, putting up the tree, and I can't find my actual ornaments. So we've moved since last Christmas and you know, it was such a frenzy <laughs> packing. I'm sure I'm not the only one. It's such a frenzy when you pack that sometimes I've like thrown stuff out and I don't even realize or I don't remember. And I wonder if I threw out those ornaments. I don't think so. I don't think I would have done that. They may have broken, but I can't find them. Found the tree, no problem. Uh, we found our big wreath, which I still don't know if we're gonna put up or not. Um, yeah, I, I can't find my own words. Anyway, we're gonna put the tree up. It is pre-lit, so at least it'll be lit. So that is the plan, and we're gonna be putting it in the corner, this corner here in the living room. I still have this mirror <laughs> that I got at Target months ago. I still love it. I'm still glad I bought it. I uh, still don't know where I'm gonna put it up, but anyway, so that tree is gonna go up in that corner. So I'm back over at the advent calendar. Uh, I'm gonna open up day number three, Bakewell Hud. So this is an India and Ethiopia blend, I think. Light, medium, and then it has a caramel cherry chocolate uh, notes. Okay, so this is the one we're trying now. Bakewell Pud. 
Ooh, I'm excited. I've never had an Indian and Ethiopian blend coffee. Very exciting. Okay, trying day three. Ooh. Mmm. This one actually tastes like, um, not spicy. It's not like it tastes like hot. It tastes like it, it has spices, like, uh, like flavors in here. Mm. And like a little, a little woody too. Mm. It's smoother than day two. Day two had that like kind of flavor spike right in the beginning, but this is smoother. Oh, this is lovely. All right, so again, that was Bakewell Putt from India and Ethiopia. Caramel cherry chocolate. Mm -mm -mm. This is a really delicious one. All right, <laughs> I've got uh, some work to catch up on. Um, I'm still waiting for Miss Butters to wake up because I want to do her advent calendar, but I'll do that whenever she comes downstairs. And, um, and then we'll be putting up and hopefully decorating the tree. Good morning. Good morning, baby. Are you ready for today's advent calendar treat? Hmm? Okay, let's see what's inside today's advent calendar. Ooh, let's see, where is number two? Looks like we have some gingerbread cookies. Ooh, okay. And then what is... Number three. Oh, number three is over here and, oh my gosh. Okay, this is her favorite thing in the entire world. So I'm gonna save this. She's gonna tear that ball apart in like two seconds. Oh, look how cute these are. I'm just gonna read the back quickly and make sure it's not too fatty. Okay, so surprisingly, these are actually a little bit too fatty for her. So I'm gonna pull out some of the treats I have. Okay, baby, ready? Damn you, who's a good girl, huh? Who's a good girl? All right, so I am gonna bring all these treats that she can't have, I am gonna bring them to her daycare, as you guys know. I take her to school three days a week, and they know not to give her any treats, so I'm gonna give these to them, and they can give them out to the other, the healthier doggies, the ones who don't have pancreatitis issues. Okay, so next up for today, we are going to walk the butters. Are you ready, baby? I feel like she knows she has a ball up here. We're gonna play with that a little bit later, but not right now. Cause she gets so insane. So, so insane about balls. <laughs> I'm all showered and um, I actually got some orders in today so I'm gonna go ahead and pack some orders and then I gotta hit the UPS store I have a whole bunch to drop off and I think I have a couple to pick up so that is what is next on the agenda I really hope I get to my Christmas tree today
Mars, what do you think? The Christmas tree is up. I'm sure I'm just gonna be continuously zhuzhing it. Of course, every time I look at it, there's another empty spot, but okay. I'm gonna do one last look in the garage for the ornaments because I really, I really like my ornaments <laughs> and I hope I kept them. I hope I kept them. I know I had a special box of ornaments, like the ones that I didn't just buy off of Amazon, those red ones that I got last year. Um, like I have ones that I've made and purchased, especially for past seasons. And I was actually sent the most amazing ornament and it broke, it effing broke. And I can't remember if it broke when I was taking the tree down or if it broke when I was moving and packing things. I think it, I think it was when we were moving. Anyway, it was this beautiful, beautiful ornament that one of my subscribers sent to me and it had like this painting of butters on it. It was round and I just, I loved it so much. My heart was broken when it fell onto the ground and just broke into a lot of little pieces. I still think about that ornament. Anyway, I'm gonna go into the garage and look, look for this box of ornaments. No luck, no luck finding the ornaments. I don't know what I did with them. Like I said, I know I had some special ones that I would not have just tossed, but I'm on Amazon and hopefully I can find some ornaments just to, just to fill up the tree. <laughs> it looks a little empty. It also looks really short here. It looks fine in our old apartment, but it looks really short in this house. So next year, I think we're gonna have to replace this one with a taller one and maybe get some others. Anyway, that's for next year, but hopefully Amazon will come through with some ornaments. These look pretty. I was thinking about getting light colored ones because um, last year I just did like a lot of red and gold and that was pretty, but I thought for a change, these could be nice. And 76 come here. So maybe I'll just get two boxes and that'll work. I think we have a winner. Someone has made themselves very comfy in mommy's sweatshirt. Hey baby, you leave mommy sweatshirt. Okay. Say goodnight to everyone. And then I'm gonna put my foot warming on because it is a little bit chilly out. So I'll have it on for two hours. So today ended up being a pretty boring day. When I wasn't vlogging, I was basically just like editing videos and stuff and going over vlog footage. So that is it for today. I am really beat. I'm <laughs> really, really tired today. I don't know if it's all the Christmas decoration. I don't know if it's all the, you know, vlogging and editing. Well, as you guys know, I got an editor, but um, vlogs are really hard to edit for someone else. So. Um, I may have to hand some off to them, but for now I am going back to editing everything, uh, well, all the vlogs um, for the moment. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning into Mishmas. I'll be back, well, I'll be back tomorrow <laughs> with another video. <laughs>